So the design concept that we tried to emulate for, for Mr. Nick Williams is the, the whole idea of it is to be two things. One, personal, personalized, excuse me, and two, uh, customized to his, to, his, to his needs and his wants. So the entire thing that we've, that we've created here uh, is based on those two things. And first off, we have what we're going to call the digital display what was the other digital, one? Digital, digital display? Digital display. Deals. Deals. The, the DVD. <laughs> the triple D. The triple D. Okay. And on this kiosk is where he walks up to it. It's the first thing he does when he walks up to the TV section. And he in inputs his social profile, either by logging into his Facebook or adding some likes on a checklist, like what would you use this TV for? Oh, I'd use it for sports, video games, you know, that sort of thing. And then from there, he can input his his likes and his needs and his wants or what he wants to get out of this TV. And then this will display a list of options for him to choose from. He can choose up to say five to ten or maybe even larger list if we get the logistics for this right. Um, so what he'll do is he'll choose those certain TVs and then as well he'll upload an image of his room or the ideal room for where he wants the TV to be placed. So he'll say if he wants it in his bedroom, he'll take a picture of his bedroom earlier that day or if he wants it in his living room, he has to take a 360 panorama. Or, so. Ideally, a 360 would be best for this design because you'll see in stage three. And so we'll, we'll provide the, the 360 template through uh, our, our app. And if you download it, and it'll tell you the exact dimensions of how you want the picture, or how you want it. So the picture will come up perfectly because if you have people that are uploading uh, not, not so high quality pictures or something, then you're going to end up with a bad thing here in stage three, which so gets it. Uh, so he'll upload the image from here. And then from there, this system is based on a server so that they'll just transmit the data to where we're getting at stage three. And he'll walk to what we're going to call we, the 360 projection room. It's a working title. We'll work for a new name later. Um, but where he'll meet a customer service representative that already knows him, already knows his likes, already knows his profile, because guess what? It's already uploaded here about five minutes ago. So he'll walk up, and this customer service will walk in. Oh, hello, Mr. Williams. Nice to meet you. Welcome to our 360 projection room. Uh, come on in, we'll show you what we have here for you. Uh, kind of make small talk, kind of provide them with a drink, you know, make them comfortable. And then they walk into the room where there's nothing, it's literally white walls and a couch. And so they'll come sit on this couch together. The customer service person will have a some sort of tablet displayed to where they can browse through the options and show him what they're about to display for him. But here's where all the magic happens. Above them is a projector, a 360 projector, and where that will display, that's why I said the 360 image would be perfect because they can display an image on that wall, 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 of how the room is going to look. And then through here, especially this is the wall where the TV is going to be displayed, behind the wall there is a carousel, a rolling, caros a roll rolling carousel of all the TV options that are displayed, where it'll display side by side different options. For example, he was listed two options here that he really wants to compare uh, the graphics quality of. He'll uh, bring them out and they'll be placed side by side so we can kind of compare the graphics quality. And then from there, uh, the, it takes advantage of the fact that it's being projected onto this wall that he can see how the TV would look in his room. So 